Mac OS is awesome. I think we all know this, but sometimes it has its weird quirks and annoyingness that just comes with it. And this specific thing that comes up that shows you this copy of Mac OS is, you know, can't be used, it's not installable, whatever the case is. The reason, you know, reason why this happens, there's not just one reason, by the way, why this happens, but it's usually a problem with the Mac OS install file that you actually downloaded. So you know when you go and download this file in the first place, you have that actual raw file on your computer? Well, there may have been an issue when downloading that file in the first place. I'm trying to find an image of it. But the way to go and fix this to start off with, what you want to do first is you want to delete that old install file. So wherever that install file was where you were double clicking it and opening it up, just go ahead and delete that file. It's not even worth having anymore. Just delete it. And from there, what you want to do is you can make your way over to this support.apple.com website. And I'll leave this in the description below. You can click on the first link down there. And there, what you want to do is you want to reinstall and re-download this update. There's a few ways you can do this. One, you can manually install the update if you want to, which is exactly what you're doing. Or if you have the ability of going onto your computer like how I am here, you want to click on the top left logo up here. You want to click on system settings. And from here, you want to click general and you want to click on software update. And you should be able to find a software update available for your Mac OS machine. And this should be able, you can update your computer this way if you want to. So you can go ahead and just, you know, completely circumvent that whole entire, you know, this specific panel by doing that. Now, if that's not working, like I said, you can scroll down on this page and you can use the app store or your browser. So if we wanted to install, let's say Ventura 13, this latest Mac OS version, I can click here. It's going to bring open my app store. It's going to take me right into the app store panel and I can install Mac OS Ventura this way if I want to. Same thing with Mac OS Monterey 12. If Mac OS Monterey is still being supported, you can go ahead and install it this way too. So those are two different ways you can kind of circumvent that issue. Now, if you'd rather have, you know, the DMG file, so you can install the DMG file of these ones. So you can click on this specific, you know, one right here. You can download the DMG file this way. So you might only be getting this error if it's the older version of a certain software. But we can see Big Sur, you know, there's issues like that too. Now, if that's not working, you can try restarting your machine. So power off your computer completely, and then power back on. And you can try following these instructions again. If that's still not working, you may also want to just make sure you have enough you know, data and storage on your machine. Because if you don't, 